Of all competitive sports, boxing is among the most difficult. The contact sport is a blend of both grace and aggression, and we've all seen fighters dance around the ring, but how tough of a job is it? Find out now on the show that tackles the most unique gigs you won't find in your job search, Jobs Enlisted. Tuscaloosa, Alabama is probably not a place you've been to before. The rural area has an estimated population of less than 100,000 people, but it is home to the mega school, the University of Alabama, and it's also the breeding ground for the world heavyweight champion, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. The latter is why we're here. So we're gonna peel back some of the layers, show you what it's actually like being a boxer, and show you how to crack the industry. Before we even jump into this, Deontay Wilder is a beast. He's never lost, and there's only been one person he's ever fought as a pro that he hasn't knocked out. He was also a medalist as an amateur in the 2008 Olympics, and somehow we convinced him to agree to let me into his office, AKA Sky Boxing Gym. You here to learn boxing? Yeah, bro, you got me all the way out here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. <laughs> How did Deontay Wilder become the Deontay Wilder that we know today? Being from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, you rarely see boxing ever. We never heard of it. It was mostly about football. My story started from my, my daughter. My daughter was born with a hole in her spine. I had to quit college, I had to quit everything. So I walked into a gym because I needed more money to support her. I looked at my daughter, I told her when she was one years old that I'd be a world champion and be able to, to provide and, and, and take care of her beyond her belief. I get my motivation from her still, and here I am now. What's the job of boxing like? I'm always here training, getting my body right. I'm never out of shape. You know, but when it's crunch time, everything gets so serious. You know, I have to separate myself from my family, mm -hmm. my kids. Being a fighter, we sacrifice so much. But um, a boxer lifestyle is the best lifestyle because we basically do what we want. I always think about when I was, just say, a normal person mm -hmm. who just go to work, go home, eat, go mm -hmm. to sleep, get back up, do, do it the all same. All oh again. my God. So being able to do what I'm doing now is such a total blessing to me. Well, I'm starting from here. I'm starting right. from the ground level. I'm trying to work my way up a little bit. Do you think you could show me the ropes a little bit? Man, let's do it. I have zero boxing experience, but at the end of this, I'm going to have to fight. So I guess I should learn how to do that first. You look good. You look like a fighter. I look like a boxer. I hope you feel like one, because I'm about to make you one. Now jump back and forth. Make sure you're on your ball of your feet. You ready to go? Not really. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Most people think this is in the legs, but if you got nice, rotate. Right hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You good. I'm gonna teach you the most important punch of your life. It's called the jab. Once you connect fist with face, you twist it. Mm -hmm. That's how you cut a man. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> this is okay. leather. And All the leather. Leather on the skin will. Leather on the skin, baby. Okay, okay. Don't okay. mix. There you go. That's it. Boy, you so okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now, what comes behind the jab is one of my favorite punches of all times. What makes me famous with 39 KO. <laughs> and it was about the right hand. That's a killer. Bam! It might have oh, even the air of that shit just hurt. <laughs> jab, jab. One, two. That's perfect. You got nice power on there as well. <laughs> That's you know perfect. Saying? That's perfect. And once you become comfortable, you right. see openness and your and body you automatically, right? I love that. And that's how you become a heavyweight champion, you become in a heavyweight champion in the like world. Like me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bob Squad! What we it's got like the bedroom. On? This is where all the magic happens. I like that. Once you get in the ring, this is where the likes is. This is where the camera, all the fans around. This is time to say, I am the champion. I'm the best. I'm finna show the world. And you want to have that attitude like, I'm a champion. Mm -hmm. In here, I'm going to teach you the method of moving while punching as well, too, got while it. having a composure, staying calm. The outside foot, always your leader. It's always like, you want to be calm, cool, have a little swagger with it. You know got what I mean? Got it. Just real calm. There you go. Forwards. There you go. Backwards. There you go. That's it. That's it. It feel funny then. Yeah, it was weird. That's funny. But as long as you go backwards and this right hand landing, you good. Okay, okay. 
It seems like this is a job that has more risks than benefits. I've broken my hand three times. I've torn my bicep once, broken my finger twice. Why not just be a guy that goes into an office every day? Right. Why choose this job? Boxing is the only sport that in one night, one fight, you can make anybody's salary in the world. Damn. But um, I think you got a future in this, bro. No. I don't tell that to everybody. <laughs> no future I, in this for me. Listen, I can't risk getting my head knocked off my shoulders, <laughs> bro. I'll leave that to you, bro, but I appreciate you. My man, you. blessings. All right, so that's it. That's day one. Uh, super exhausted. Boxing is very taxing on the body. And I have to come back tomorrow. More training, more workouts, more everything. So day two was a complete work day, a bunch of training, working out, and prepping for my big fight tomorrow. Boom, right there. Mm-hmm. Go back just a little bit more, right there. Ooh. Boom, working these hands. Hands. Gotcha. Thank you, bro, thank you. You all right? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Yo, I'm super exhausted, and honestly, that's about as ready as I can be for tomorrow. All right, so day three is here. This is it. This is the day that I fight. I'm going to get my hands wrapped up. I'm going to do a little prep work, and then it's go time. Do you think that the heavyweight division now is as good as it was back in the day, or? The fight with me and Josh, we were trying to get this going, and I think it's going to happen. A lot of you people know. want that one to happen. Yeah, man. You know, you got two undefeated guys, you know, and uh, that means one of you will not be undefeated anymore. Someone old has to go. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> will it be yours? Unfortunately, it would not be. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm just happy to be a heavyweight at this point in time in my life. How'd that feel? It feel good. Yeah, man. I feel ready. Let's make it happen. Work time. Nice, looking good. There you go. Nice. That's how you still around. Did good. Be, bro. My man. They kept it under wraps about who I'll be fighting this entire time, and it turns out it's a Golden Gloves champion named Kierik. Let's go, baby. Oh. <laughs> Act like you want it. Just have fun, stay comfortable. This is not fun for me. This is all. gonna be fun, trust me. Kierik, come on up, bro. What's up, man? Don't be too friendly. Sorry, I'm just, a nice, I'm just a nice guy. Let's go, baby. There you go. You go find your find find your comfort zone, find your range. Find your stance, there you go. Don't hesitate, just throw it out there. There you go. There you go. Here I am, thinking I'm getting the hang of it, right? Floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. But then, like Mike Tyson said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. You keep your chin down. Bop, there your jab, there your jab. There you go, there you go. Nice. Oh my God. You'll be all right. You looked good, man. You looked real good. I'm so tired. You got it? You got it? I feel like a smoker. <laughs> you sure that was only two minutes? Work time! There you go. There you go. It's Milton, baby. It's Milton speed. Nice, nice. Nice hook. Come with that one, two. Pop, pop. Go, nice. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. When he coming in like that, come with that jab, one, two. Good time. There you go. There you go. One more round, baby. I'm done.
You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, For real. Fun, For real. Oh, <laughs> How you feeling? All those people on the internet talking, 99% of them don't have the guts to do what you just did, and that's get in the ring. Thank you, Dre. I appreciate that. I just want to thank my mom and dad, first and foremost. Fall in love. Shout out D. I appreciate you. Yeah, baby. Let me take this shit off, bro. Let's... First and foremost, I'm proud of myself. I just fought the world's strongest man. Longest two minutes of my life. My head was almost punched off my shoulders a couple of times, but other than that, uh, I was just thinking, damn, I really want this to be over with. I really look forward to uh, going home and never doing this again. My lungs are burning. I'm scarred forever by that sound right there. Bro, thank you so much for the hospitality, Man. having me down here, showing me the ropes. Uh, I appreciate it all, bro, I really do. Oh man, it was my pleasure. You did a great job. Thank you. And um, now you know what it's like. All right, so three days in, three days out. Boxing is super difficult. I mean, it's hard, it's strenuous, it's exhausting, but on the other hand, it's definitely something that makes you want to be better. I actually got kind of competitive for once, which is interesting. I wouldn't say that this is a job I'd ever actually want to do seriously. And last thing, we are obviously in the city of Tuscaloosa. The Native American translation for that is Black Warrior. It's only fitting that the world heavyweight champion calls this place home.